Hi guys, I'm Alex. I'm a London-based travel and adventure photographer. While well, I was until this um, whole situation going on at the moment, so I am currently locked down in London for the last three weeks. So I'm kind of pushing through some videos I wanted to make about my editing style. For those who don't know me, please do go check out my Instagram. I would love you to give me a follow. Uh, but for the moment, today's video is about um, the shots I took on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand. One of my favorite places, it's absolutely beautiful. It's got ginormous ferns. I've been there twice uh, and it's just been pouring with rain, the most incredible conditions, the most incredible um, colors and greens. So today I'm gonna to talk through my editing process. This might not be for you, but I hope you can take something for, from it. Um, you know, some people might wanna edit it slightly differently, but I wanted to show how I get those green tones I really love in my images. I'm also providing a set of raw images which I took on my last trip. The image I'm gonna edit in this today is going to be an image I took two or three years ago, but the images I'm gonna provide on a Dropbox file, which you can find below, um, are raw images which you can follow along on. Um, I took um, back in about November. So I hope you guys enjoy those. Please do um, tag me in them. I'd love to see your edits and your takes. So this is the image I'm gonna to edit today. I really love the atmosphere. I love the greens. Um, I love the car in the center with the headlights on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I edited those greens in the shot I showed you earlier. You know, you can go as far or as little as you want to, but I wanted you to understand how I'm working the relationship between the HSLs, the color calibration, um, and all the other different elements to kind of build an image like that. And then you can go as far or as little as you want to with your edit. So um, first off, I'm going to start um, with basics, so I'm just going to brighten the image up a little, um, increase the contrast. I don't know why that's like that, it should be on Adobe Standard. And then I'm going to go into um, the tonal curve. So first of all, I'm just gonna do a basic S curve. Um, I can adjust this later depending on what I want to do. But the thing is, I'm doing this tutorial really fast. It would usually take me between, you know, half an hour, nearly an hour to edit an image really well, go into all the little details. But yeah, that's what, what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend hopefully 10 minutes maximum um, showing you guys the basics and then you can you know, work into the details a bit further. And I'm gonna explain what I mean by details um, later on. So that's tonal curve done. Now I'm gonna to go to the HSLs um, and to the um, saturation. So I'm gonna bring the purple and that down. Um, I don't think there's too much of it in, but it sometimes affects the color on the gunmetal gray look I'm going for, as well as the blues. So look how much the blues can affect what the car looks like. Um, so I'm gonna bring it down to about there. Uh, it's not that much aqua. It only really affects the windscreen. So I'm only gonna bring that down a bit. Uh, gonna bring the greens down and bring the yellows down. So this is kind of the start of um, getting those greens at one. Next up, I'm gonna jump down to color calibration and I'm not done in any of those parts. I'm gonna come back to it. I'm gonna readjust and make sure I'm getting the absolute um, you know, best tones that I want. So first of all, I'm gonna to go to blue primary and go all the way up to about 80 and 90 and adjust the saturation. And now that looks really oversaturated, doesn't it? But I'm getting to it. And then they're gonna go and play with the red primary and just bring it down a little bit um, and play with the green primary. Um, so look, you can make it more kind of bluey, darky, but I think it's already there so I just want to adjust it a little like that and maybe bring down, um, you know, the saturation a little. So just between doing, you know, tonal curve, calibration and HSLs, it's a huge difference already to that. So that's pretty impressive. So now it's time to kind of refine um, all the details. I got kind of the basics um, colors I want, but now it's time to go through, you know, different tools to, um, you know, adjust those details and kind of perfect um, the image. So next up, I'm just gonna go quickly into um, sharpening. There we go. And I usually mask it around 40 to 50, maybe more. Uh, you can hold down option. I'm just gonna readjust my microphone because it is next to um, the, uh, the computer fan. So it's making a huge amounts of sound. And I've already recorded this like a couple of times on different kind of microphones and it's always picked it up and it's really annoying. So next up, I'm gonna go into um, split toning. It doesn't really need split toning. Um, I really like split toning, it just kind of adds a different element, but I'm only gonna add a little bit of blues into the shadows to cool the image off. So just a really minor adjustment, but I really like that. Um, 
You know, next up, I'm kind of looking at the headlights and they look really kind of towards greeny yellow. I don't really like that. So I'm going to go into yellows and adjust them. So they're a lot more um, kind of orangey. Um, so not a huge difference. To make the headlights a bit more defined, you can go into um, masks and these over the, uh, put these over the headlights. You need to invert them first um, or it's going to mask the wrong part. You can add temperature. I know there's a copy and paste button to copy and paste these, but I can't remember what it is. So bear with me while I just adjust these. So you can adjust these, play around with them, um, add some saturation in. I know these are kind of like, you're not going to hugely notice, but as you kind of step away from the image, it looks a lot better um, that there's a bit more orange coming from the car than just, you know, pure greens. Um, I think there could be a bit more light coming from the sky. So I'm just going to go into uh, one of the gradient filters and there we go. Maybe a bit too much, a bit of contrast, bit of light, bit of black. Um, just bringing out the sky a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think that works well. Maybe a bit too many blacks. And then they're going to go back to basic tools and see if I got, kind of got the temperature and tint right. Um, again, down to preference. I quite like this image really cool, but you could go a little bit warmer. Um, I'm going to go more towards about 6,000 and then I'm going to play with the tint. Um, I think the tint's really important that you play with this a bit because you can't always um, realize how much tint is affecting your image. Um, so it's quite good to go to one extreme to the other so I can see it's actually really overpowered with kind of greens. So I think actually going in the middle at zero um, is a better option. But you know, you have to really like kind of focus on the image to kind of understand the effect of that. Now I can go back to these tools and adjust. I'm gonna bring the shadows up a little bit, a little bit more contrast with the whites and blacks. So the image is looking pretty good. Um, perhaps, you know, I could go into effects and add a um, vignetting on it. So it kind of leads you into the image a bit more. And what I noticed from doing that is that the car is actually really over highlighted. So I'm gonna go onto a brush and pull the highlights down the car, just cause I think, you know, the, the focus of this image is the car, but I don't want it to be like overpowering and um, yeah, too much. So going in and, you know, making a quick mask over the car kind of just brings it down and make it a little bit more subtle. I think the sides here are actually just like a tiny little bit too flat um, and I could bring those up a little. Um, so if going into the HSLs, you can um, adjust the luminance. So here I'm gonna just add a li little bit more on the greens and yellows. Actually, the yellows is bringing up the headlights, so that's also quite nice. I could also look at uh, painting a few more brushes on the sides just because these greens um, are kind of still flat. Um, so just painting over them a little bit just to bring them out, um, you know, add in a few like contrast onto them. Like so, maybe a too much more on the blacks. Ooh. Just painting into them like so. <clears throat> so overall, the image is actually looking really good. I really like it, you know, from the original like that to that. I feel like this image is actually a lot more exciting and I feel like the part to play now is what I would do for the next 20 minutes is really refine your image and your colors and down to preference. And I would, you know, go away from the image, image and then come back to it and see, you know, if those adjustments I still like them 20 minutes later. So, you know, I would go into, for example, tonal curve and see, you know, are those blacks kind of right? Is the kind of contrast I'm creating, is that good? Um, is the greens overpowering in, you know, the primary or could they be a bit more, more subtle? You know, it's it's that 20 to half an hour you spend on top of this, which is really gonna like make your image unique. So I'm gonna leave it there. I really hope you kind of found this interesting and um, useful to how you could adjust your greens to make them a, a little bit different. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions below. I hope I kind of covered this as quickly as possible so you um, can understand how you make those tones. Um, but yeah, please subscribe. I'm going to be making a few more editing videos here and there. But yeah, thanks a lot.